Adventures, an art project with Amber and Stephanie. We're learning about the colonies and Native Americans, and um, we decided we would do dream catchers, something that the Native Americans did. Um, people came from Europe to live in America, and when they arrived, the Native Americans were already living here. The Native Americans taught the settlers, settlers all kinds of things. So what kinds of things did they teach them, Amber? They taught them how to live. They taught them how to grow food and to keep food fresh. Mm -hmm. And so it didn't go bad as quickly. They taught them how to work the soil because it was different from where they came from. So they could plant corn and grains um, and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, the Native Americans um, made the dream catchers usually for children to catch bad dreams. Um, it, they thought it would protect them while they were sleeping. They believed that the night air is filled with both good and bad dreams. So they would make these uh, decorative hoops to put over the children's beds to catch bad dreams. And like the center looks like a web, kind of like a spider web, so it would catch okay. the bad dreams and filter the good dreams through. So we thought it would be fun to make our own. And you guys could try this at home maybe. You have a paper plate, some yarn or string or even ribbon. Um, we used some uh, feathers that we already had here in the classroom, but you don't have to use feathers. Maybe you could go outside and get some leaves and, and tape those to the bottom as well. So what I did was made a circle in the middle of a paper plate and I'm gonna cut that circle out. And so to do that, you kinda of have to puncture a hole in the middle of your plate like that and cut to the circle that you had drawn in the middle. Just and be I, careful of your fingers that you don't go through and, and cut your fingers. Or make sure nobody's standing behind the paper plate when you do it. <laughs> And then on the back of my paper plate, I put some numbers on my circle, starting at the top with one. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, with five at the bottom, six, seven, and eight. And I wrote those on the back. And you can do that too. We're gonna to need those numbers later on. So I'm gonna take my scissors and at those mm -hmm. each number, I am going to snip or cut part of the paper plate. I am not gonna cut clear through. Otherwise, we'll end up with pieces, and we don't want that. We want it to stay to stay whole. So we're just gonna cut maybe halfway through or just a quarter of the way through our paper plate. All the way around. Like that. And then, we're going to decorate the front of our paper plate. We could use markers. I use markers on mine. Um, you could paint it if you have paints at home. Um, you could just write on it or you could just leave it if you want to. We're gonna leave ours because our paper plate was pretty decorative already. Mm -hmm. You can decorate the front and the back or just the front, it's up to you. So we're gonna start with the number one. And Miss Pam is going to have these directions um, posted as well. And I wrote them here for myself <laughs> to do this. So we're going to start at one and we're going to take our yarn and go to the number four. So I start at one and it just stays right in there nicely. So we're going to go to the number four and put the yarn into our little slit that we made at number four. And then from four, we're going to go to number seven. So we're going to look for number seven and take our yarn over to the number seven. And then from seven to the number two, right in there. And from two to five, that fine twine, clear down here at the bottom. And we don't wanna to pull too tight. If we pull too tight, then we're gonna make our circle not look like a circle anymore. We don't wanna do that. So we wanna make sure that it's not too tight. 
So we put it in the number five, and then from five to eight, and then eight to three. So we make eight to three, and then three to six. one back up here to the top like that so now I'm just going to cut my yarn off like this there we go you can do this twice I did it twice on mine to make it a little thicker but you don't have to I only did it once on this one and now we're going to decorate it I have some yarn here to add um, the decorative part here hanging down. You can put lots of them on the bottom or just one or two, it's up to you. Amber, could you hold this for me? Thank you. And I'm just gonna tie mine off. My string, yarn, like I said, ribbon, just whatever you have available at home. And I'm gonna tie that. The length is up to you as well. You might want them all the same length. Maybe you want them different lengths. It's up to you, what you choose. This is your art project. And now we're going to add, we'll add our feathers. And like I said, if you don't have feathers, maybe you can go out and pick up some leaves because that would be fun. It's a nice fall mm -hmm. day. Just pick them up. This one, we're just yellow Um, the first one I did, I used beads because we had beads. Um, but this one, I think I'm going to use stickers. If you have some stickers laying around, we could use stickers. And we're just going to decorate the yarn with the stickers like that. Um, if you don't have stickers or beads, maybe you can use cotton balls or other kinds of Buttons are, oh, buttons are always fun. They come mm -hmm. in all different sizes and shapes and colors. Um, well, that's fine. Okay, so I like that. That looks mm -hmm. nice. Then what? I guess, you know what we could do is we could put some more feathers up here. Mm -hmm. The top. Yeah. Put them up here. Not all up to you your project. They don't have to be the same. They should all be different. Just do this. There. You can hold. There you have it. Beautiful scene catcher. It looks great. That looked great. It was fun too. Now you can so, put it above your bed and it'll catch all the bad dreams and filter, filter all the good dreams into your head. <laughs> <laughs> so this has been art time with Amber and Stephanie.